Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so you're here because you want to learn how to strengthen your shoulders. Having a lack of shoulder strength is very, very frustrating when you're doing any kind of workout, especially when it comes to calisthenics. You will very quickly realize that you do need to have quite strong shoulders to be able to do lots of the fun stuff like handstands and um, fun calisthenics skills. So when I first started calisthenics training, I was quite surprised by the lack of shoulder strength that I actually had. It goes to show that I just wasn't using them, I wasn't doing the right exercises, to be honest, I wasn't really training that much at all. I've learned a lot since then, and the exercises I'm going to show you today are exactly what I was doing when I first started, and it's exactly what I do now. And it's definitely helped increase my shoulder strength in a huge way. So if you implement these exercises into your training, you'll definitely build shoulder strength and improve your skills and your performance with your training. I am basing this video with beginners in mind because I was a beginner, we all start as a beginner and it's very frustrating when we find a video and it's it's way beyond what the level that we are currently at now. So I do understand and I will do my very best to make it as beginner friendly as possible for you. There are definitely modifications to certain exercises that I will show you as well. So let's just get into it. Alright, first exercise I'm going to show you is push up to pike. Alright, so we just basically start in push up position. So when you do it, you want to have your sort of like your shoulders just a little bit over your hands, not back like this. Okay, you want the pressure on your shoulders. Squeeze your glutes, really contract your shoulders, engage everything and just pushing your butt back, nice straight back and coming back over. You don't want to come to this position, you don't want to come to here. You want to have a nice, nice flat line and just hold it, okay? So, you know, do this sort of 10 to 12 times in a row. If you can't do that many, just do what you can. A very good warm up exercise, a very good start. With that, just make sure, like I said, your shoulders are a little bit over your fingertips because you want to keep the pressure on them because that is the muscle you are working. So keep that in mind when doing that push up to pike exercise. Okay, second exercise is a planche hold. Now, if you don't know what a planche is, it's this. Looks really cool, looks amazing, and it is super, super hard to do. I can't do it. I can hold the position <laughs> if I jump, and that's something there was no way that I could do less than a year ago. No way. So I put my improvement down to these exercises that I'm showing you. Planche hold is push up position again. Now put your aim your fingers slightly to the sides. Not like this, just, just slightly angled to the side. In this position, you don't want to be like that, okay? You don't want to have your chest open. You want to almost contract your shoulders like that. Okay, not like this. So you want to be slightly contracted, but you don't want to be hunched and walking forward like this and squeeze everything so you're right over and hold. Go a little further if you can and hold it sort of five to ten seconds. Five is a good start. And you'll really feel that in here. Really engage these muscles. You know, dig your fingertips into the floor to give yourself good grip and keep everything nice and contracted. Right, so the planche hold is an excellent, excellent exercise for strengthening your shoulders. It's great practice for, obviously, a planche, um, for handstands, for push-ups. So that one is a big yes. It's okay, next one is a push-up, but your arms will start at your waist. Now, this is slightly more advanced, but you can modify it by putting your knees on the ground, so don't worry. I'll show you with your knee, with knees on the ground, just assuming you are beginning. So place your hands back a little bit further. It is a little uncomfortable. And down and up. Now you may only be able to do one. You may not even be able to get one. That's totally fine. 
the key is that you're just practicing it you're just attempting it and trying eventually if you just do this consistently you will get one two three four and you'll be able to build and build and build on it right so don't worry if you can't get one out right now key is just keep trying get the keep the technique right technique for this don't stick your butt out keep it squeezed and keep your hips neutral creep the arms back a wee bit chest open down and up now when you come up really lock your scapula now what I do because I actually have a pull-up bar in my doorway I hang a resistance band from it like a full looped resistance band and to assist myself I put my body through it so that the resistance band is around my waist and I will do my push-ups like that so it's kind of assisting me back up so if you wanted to get yourself a pull-up bar they are very very good they've helped me a lot with my calisthenics training too but if not just do it like this on the floor and then once you've got that you can advance to taking your knees off the ground now it's not a comfortable position and it is something that you need to get used to it just comes with practice and consistency okay so that was number three push-ups with your hands at your waist okay next one is the crow alternating pose now crow pose which is this okay so to work up to that or just in general to strengthen your shoulders a great exercise I find and it's harder than it looks in this position crow position and put your shoulders over your hands and what you're wanting to do is just alternate like that and just really putting the weight over your shoulders as you do it so if you're going to put your weight back on your feet too much you're not going to get the benefit it's kind of defeating the purpose of performing the exercise so if you're back here you're working your legs you want to see I can really feel that in my thighs I don't feel it in my arms but if I'm forward like this and as little pressure on my feet as I can just enough to push me off and keeping the weight on my shoulders that's a really tiring exercise if you can just get a few of them out that's absolutely fine aim to get up to 10 12 15 at a time and you'll really start to feel that working okay you'll build your shoulder strength really fast that is a really great exercise to help build your strength so you can actually hold the crow pose which brings me to my next exercise which is practicing for the crow pose Practicing getting into it and just practicing the technique of this exercise, which is great for your shoulder strength. So what you want to do is have your knees pushed in to the backs, just above your elbows. Get a really good grip on the floor. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Really grip them in. You'll find very quickly that with calisthenics, you'll be gripping the floor pretty hard with a lot of exercises, especially when you start getting into handstands and stuff like that. Up on your toes, posing like this, like a little crow, and just practice coming off like this. Just get the feel of what it feels like. And see how long you can hold it for. You'll gradually hold it longer and longer. Now my elbows are slightly bent. You can build up to straightening your elbows and holding this position which takes a lot more balance and a lot more strength, but keep them slightly bent, makes it easier, and just practice how long you can hold it for. If you feel yourself overbalancing, sorry, maybe put a cushion or a pillow in front of you, it's probably a good idea, um, you don't want to face plant into the carpet or the floorboards, so yeah, definitely put something in front of you, because you could overbalance with this, I've definitely done it a few times. All right, so practicing that crow pose hold is another great exercise. All right, second last one is it's like a reverse plant hold, so I call it the table hold. So coming like this and squeeze your glutes, stick, stick your hips right out, and just push back on your hands. 
So this is going to really strengthen the backs of your shoulders, the backs of your delts. And just practice doing that. Hold that there for 5 to 10 seconds, even longer, 20 seconds. Repeat that maybe three times, three or four times, just holding it for 10, 20 seconds, as long as you can do. I say max 30. If you can build up to 30, that's amazing, good stuff. Okay, so that is an excellent exercise. I find it's great, and it's a really, really good stretch for your shoulders too. You come to join. Are you going to do a shoulder workout too? Oh, 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 okay. All right, so yeah, as I said, it's a great stretch across the shoulders. Feels really good. Okay guys, last exercise is the pike push-up. Now this is up there with the best of the best exercises that I found to really help strengthen my shoulders. You can do this starting on the floor, and then when you get more advanced, you can do it by elevating your feet onto a table, onto a like a, a lower sort of desk, into a pike position like this. So you want your hands about shoulder width apart, and keeping your heels off the ground, really push back, coming over, and just doing a push up and up. Okay, so what you want to try and aim to do when you get more confident and get more strength is to, as you do the push up, to really push out over your hands further rather than down towards your hands. The more you can push out over, the more pressure you're applying on your shoulders and the more strength you build. So start just pushing down and if you can't push yourself back up, that's fine. Just quickly lower your knees. So if you can't do a full bike push up, totally fine. What we want to do is we're working up to doing one and then more and more and more. So if you can't push yourself back up after doing one, just instead of crashing down onto your head, just be prepared, put your knees down, put a cushion in the way, all right, so you're not going to hurt yourself, and then come back up, so slowly come down, and then drop to your knees, and then once you get more confident, once you build up more strength, you can, you can push out a few full pike push-ups. And then we can build up to putting your feet on a desk, a small chair, and doing it that way. All right, guys, so they are the best shoulder exercises that worked for me, that really helped me advance with my calisthenics training. They really helped build up my shoulder strength and allowed me to do the skills that I can now do. I know they will definitely work well for you too if you just apply it and include them consistently in your workouts. You don't need to be working each muscle group multiple times a week. Okay, so just once, twice max to get the benefits from it. You need to let your muscles rest and recover and repair and grow. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more content like this. I really, really appreciate it. It helps push my videos out there so others can see it too. Okay, there's a few freebies in the description for you. A few other links to check out if you want to. And we'll see you next time.